Should you watch my dress up, darling? Short answer, yes. Now get the fuck out of here and move on. Good. Now, for the long answer, yes. Absolutely. You should absolutely fucking watch it. So, my dress up, darling, just finished. Undoubtedly one of the best romance anime this season, fight me bitch, weaves everywhere searching for their favorite doujins and fanfics to fill the hole in their hearts and the stress in their pants. Sheesh! Virgins fapping and crying, shout out to the virgins out there. Singles on the verge of suicide cause they know this love story ain't gonna happen for shit in their lifetime. And the gigachad 1% of the weebs with girlfriends watching and tried replicating the scenes while having sex. Nice. So. Did we get all the demographic watching my dress up darling? Anyway, it was quite a ride. The perfect girlfriend and weeb can have. She got the looks, the boobs, the curves, the horniness, and the cuteness all in one person. The prayers of the fucking weebs finally get heard by the anime Jesus himself and created a romance anime for weebs and normies alike that is not actually shit. My dress up darling perfectly tickled the balls of every wee special episode 11. Sheesh! It was like the author interviewed the horniest virgin the planet and tried really hard to make it not R18. What a, f what a goddamn feat. It was a fucking masterpiece. Being honest, I already knew of this show even before the hype and even before the news of it being animated. Shout out to the know-it-alls in the comments, but yeah. Even I was blown away by that scene. You know, that scene. That one fucking scene in the manga or in the original material, shout out to the manga only elites fucks out there. The scene was only a couple of pages max, so I initially thought, meh, it's just the usual fan service girl on top scene. But wait, the animators, who were complete gigachads, made the scene extremely long and enjoyable. It's like a sensual blowjob, wait, what? Uh, whatever. The details, the sounds. The bounciness. Sheesh! It was great. I repeated that scene, uh, I don't know, 10 times. And with my pants down, another 10 times. Marin is the best waifu this season, and let's face it. A great contender of the waifu of the year awards. Assuming Crunchyroll doesn't fuck things up again. Moving on to the big question. Is there gonna be a season 2? I don't fucking know. I haven't checked the web's reddit pages at the time of writing this. Probably there will be, considering the popularity of the show, but I don't want to make a bet because the manga is kinda new and there's only a few chapters left until we get to the current chapter. Shout out again to the manga readers out there. Since this is technically a review, what do reviewers usually do? Hmm, let's see. Music, characters, voice acting, animation, rule 34, and doujin viability. Okay, got it. Music. I mean, this is a hot take, okay? This is a hot take. The opening and the ending song was kinda mid, kinda mid in my opinion. Okay, it's just my opinion, no need to write or anything. It's not bad, but it's not the best. Uh, it's very upbeat, but very generic. But at least you know what you're going into, unlike the Madoka Magica opening reverse trap card good shit opening. I won't elaborate on that further. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're probably too young or a fake weeb. Shout out to the fake weebs out there. I'm here to represent because I'm also one. Now, where was I? Ah, yes, the review. Animation, 10 out of 10. Got budget and each scene was very crisp and animated very well. Even the less exciting ones. Uh, voice acting, I'm giving it a 10. Sounds like the Japanese, a real Japanese teenager would say. Not that I know, I'm not one. Shout out to the fake Japanese out there. Konnichi morning, motherfucker. Now, mm, voice acting, right? Um, it's not the high pitch bullshit Ian the Paimon in Genshin Impact, okay? Fuck that. Rule 34, around 1300 in the time of writing. Check. Dojins, check. I don't really need to check that. I believe in my fellow weebs and their imagination, okay? Now, for the six digit source Andes, go on the comment section and. Uh, give me some recommendations so I can read it too. Share the fucking blessing, okay? So, that's the review, okay? So, we're going to a little bit more serious to make a wholesome ending and not be a cringe lord sarcastic virgin all throughout, okay? Yes. Dress Up Darling's a good show. It's diabetes overload. 
It's two people discovering that they love each other. And also, no bullshits and unrealistic overly dramatic backstory included. No, I have a limited lifespan, I have cancer, I have killed my ex, I'm actually a Discord moderator kind of bullshit that makes it more relatable. Hell, Kigok even have a living sample of a real life Marin. Shout out to them. So yeah, that's right weebs, anything is possible. For my fellow depressed weebs, this one's for you. Watching this light-hearted show will make you feel envious and hopeful at the same time. It's bittersweet, but hey, don't give up. You can do it. Hopefully before the third world war starts. So yeah, that's it. Peace and bye. So I just tried making one because I'm bored. But if you want more and of higher quality, you can make it happen by liking and subscribing to me. I got more ideas, but I need confirmation. Okay, thanks. Bye. Peace.